There is no bigger blues fan than John Hamm. I mean, how many movie stars on a Saturday night are texting with Darren Pang in the middle of a blues game like John was last night? We sat down the pride of John Burroughs for a special two-part interview. This is tonight's Cardinal Buick Sunday Conversation. And in part one, we begin with his passion for St. Louis sports. So, John, we are giving you credit for one of the biggest victories of the season, the Blues beating Las Vegas. You chatted up the boys before the game. What did you say to motivate them? Well, I, not, not for nothing. I'm going to go ahead and take credit for the follow-up victory of Colorado, too. My gosh, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, why not? If, 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 if credit is being offered, I'll take it. Uh, you know, it was one of those things. I was I was so pleased when 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 the team asked reached out to me because they, they knew I happened to be in Vegas. I didn't happen to be in Vegas. I came into Vegas to see the game, but they said, uh, "Would you announce the lineups to the team?" And you know, I I, I jumped at the chance. So it was just an it was just an opportunity to to remind the team that you know the fans still care. We're all still rooting for them. We all know we go through these times whether it's in sports or in life where, where sometimes it's, the things aren't breaking your way and, and, you know, to just give them a good reminder that we're still all pulling for them and, and there's a lot of goodwill out there. And that was clear, you know, it was honestly clear in the building. There were a lot of blues fans in there. And, uh, and uh, I think the, uh, the, the let's go blues chance were, were outnumbering the go Knights go chance. You seem to have a great connection with Ivan Barbashev because every time you're at a game, he scores. He told me after the game, he says, please come to Colorado. <laughs> I wish I could. I got I do. I have I actually have a job, too. Uh, but no, you know, a part of that is 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 being a, not only a fan of the, of the team, but of the game and watching how how Barbie plays. It's just every shift he gives. He sells out on every shift. And he's just he's great. And he always has been. You know, he's he plays up and down the lines. He got he had a career year last year, he scored over 20 goals. Chris Kerber told me today, ask John about his experiences with his father going to blues games when you were just a kid. Well, you know, my dad, uh, my dad worked downtown in a trucking industry downtown on, on Vandeventer, uh, first on Tyler, then on Vandeventer. And so it was kind of right near the, the old barn on Oakland. And, and so we would drive by that place all the time when, when I would uh, either go with him to work as a little kid or, 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 you know, go visit him or what have you. And he would, if the Blues were in town, he would see the marquee and say, like, want to go to a game? Like, let's go. And then, you know, in the 70s and 80s, the tickets weren't really that expensive. And, you know, you could always get a pretty decent seat. Uh, although the arena at that point was was pretty much full of cigarette smoke. And, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, that was pretty much all it was full of at that point. It wasn't like they were really selling out in the 70s and 80s. But, uh, but eventually, by the time I, I grew up a little bit and uh, got to see some of those really great teams of the 80s of the Hall & Oates squad and, and Shanahan and and Scott Stevens and Cujo and all those guys, uh, it was it was really became part of my uh, really DNA, and I, I owe that to my dad for just you know saying like, hey, let's just go, let's go have a good time. It was always a fun time. Yeah, and despite your fame, when you're around Brett Hull today, is there a part of you thinking, gosh, Brett Hull knows who I am? Oh, for sure. That's always been the case. You know. I'm, I was I was the bartender for those guys back at Cardwell's and Clayton in the in the early 90s. So I still, you know, I still want to go run and get those guys Bud Lights all the time. <laughs> so your other passion, of course, is the Cardinals. You went on social media telling Trey Turner to come to St. Louis. Are you catching any flack in L.A. about this? A little. <laughs> A lot of my Dodger friends are like, what are you doing? Uh, but that actually came up, came about because of a. a, a a friend who's actually from St. Louis, um, who's an agent at, uh, at one of the big agencies out here who represents Trey, said, would you ever consider doing something like this? We'd really appreciate it. And I was like, sure, that sounds great. You know, it's, I think uh, he's a great ball player for sure. I'd love to see him in, in a Cardinal uniform. Um, I don't know if we got the money to, to be able to afford somebody like that, but uh, he's, he's, a, he's a great table setter, great ball player, great defender. You know, he's, he's got all the tools. So it's a, uh, it's one of those things where I told him when uh, when I said I would do it, I said I'll do it for one percent of whatever contract you sign. So uh, <laughs> hopefully he'll 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 max out and I'll get a payday. True or false? I know you live in L.A., but you actually root for the Rams. Oh, I don't root for the Rams. Uh, whoever said that is is woefully mistaken. Uh, the last <laughs> time I rooted for the Rams was was when Kurt Warner was on the team. Um, no, I think the Rams checkered history with St. Louis has 
permanently soured me on that uh, rooting for them. But I, I'll, I'll root for the one team that's left in Missouri. I'll, I, even though they're in Kansas City, I, I'll root for the Chiefs these days. It's it's the only thing left in the Midwest, so I'll, I'll root for that. We have much more with John Hamm. Coming up, he's talking about his time with Tom Cruise on the set of Top Gun Maverick.